Well, here we are, December 31st, 2020, the year that will go down in infamy as the year my family got locked down in Wuhan and other things of note, both good and bad. But that's not what I'm here to tell you about. I'm here to tell you about the rotary steam engine. Yes. What's that you say? Well, it's a steam engine that runs on a little different uh, uh, design than other steam engines you may have seen. And it, the rotary design is actually um, somewhat well known and famous or infamous from the Gnome rotary engine that powered many aircraft during World War I, where the crankshaft is fixed. It doesn't move. The crankcase moves around the crankshaft. It's an interesting design. And somebody made a steam engine in this manner, and I've acquired it. And it's a wonderful piece of engineering, and I wasn't sure if it was going to work. So I decided to uh, hook it up to an air supply, because I don't have an immediate available supply of steam. I don't have a boiler. Um, so I decided to hook it up to an air supply, which would, of course, be a, an air compressor. And uh, I'm trying to see if I can switch this camera around so that you can see what I'm talking about, but I guess I can't. So anyways, here we are. There is the compressor, just a normal compressor, you know, bought from Princess Auto earlier today. And this is that wonderful steam engine. I'm having a hard time pointing this camera, but we'll try our best. So there it is. And I wasn't sure if this thing would run on compressed air efficiently and properly and in a way that would convey its abilities but I'm quite, quite surprised so I hooked it up a short while ago a little test run then grab my video camera so here we are watch this so I've got my hand on the switch here I'll just feed the air supply to it Wow this thing really works <laughs> can you imagine that Back in the days of old, in World War I, the propeller was fixed to the crank, sh crank case of the engine. The crank shaft was affixed to the airframe. And ergo rotation, the uh, actual engine would rotate just like this one here with the propeller fixed to it. So it's kind of a different way of doing things. Um, it was designed that way for better cooling of the engine and other factors. Um, so... Who would do it for a steam engine, though? You don't need really cooling on a steam engine. I don't know. <laughs> it's a really good question. The whole thing is a bit of an enigma. I'm delighted to um, own this thing, and I think it's, uh, it's an incredible piece of engineering. The detailing is just phenomenal on this. Whoever built it loved it and definitely built a very cool engine. Captain Gisborne, signing off.